Hi, my name's Louise Kennedy from Effortless Living and I help people to use their intuition to guide them through their lives. So today's video, I haven't done one for a long time actually because I've been otherwise <laughs> occupied, I guess. Um, but today's video is going to be about um, an idea I have for helping the world situation. Um, recently, I've been, um, I suppose, sucked into world events, what's going on. And uh, there's a lot of fear about in the world, you know, a lot of fear on, on every side. Um, in fact, there are kind of two um, sort of timelines at the moment, if you like, people who are doing the thing in the arm and wearing the things and people who are not and who don't want to go there. Now, I'm one of the latter, um, but I, I don't like to see so much division between between all of us because we're all one human family and I don't like that that division that's going on it's really quite hard and it's been quite depressing and I you know I've been so far into everything that's going on and and it's it in a way it's brought my energy down and I don't want my energy to be brought down by this and so I was lying in bed the other night thinking, what can I do? What can I do to, to make a difference, to help, um, to help the world, to help the world situation? And also I'd come down with quite a bad bout of IBS and I was in quite a lot of pain in my, you know, stomach cramps, painful stomach cramps and headache and not feeling great and thinking, oh, blimey, I haven't had this for a long time. And I think it's just a touch of stress and anxiety about where we're going. And so I began to think about how we are all actually 100% responsible for this world, 100% responsible for what's going on. Whether we like it or not, we're 100% responsible for what happens in our world. In other words, we're all co-creating this reality together. And I've recently been um, doing an online course with Joe Vitale and Dr. Hugh Len about Ho'oponopono, which I had looked at years ago, but hadn't done a lot with it. And I'm finding it really quite, quite cool and quite powerful. So I was laying in bed one night with this tummy ache thinking, what can I do? What can I do to help the world situation? And then it suddenly came to me when I was half asleep, I think in the early hours of the morning, came into my head. And what came into my head was, get a group of people to do Ho'oponopono with you for the world situation. And use the, and then it came into my head to use the magical 369 Tesla numbers as well. So doing it three times a day for six minutes each time for nine days and then that's one cycle and then you can keep repeating the cycles and so I've been sort of putting off doing a video about it because I've moved to a new house and with my son and it's on a, an intersection <laughs> and there's a lot of traffic all, all day and it was quite noisy up in the house doing it so I sat down here in the car and I'm hoping it's a it's a bit better down here so um so basically for those of you who don't know and those of you who do know even um listen up because uh actually it's an interesting thing that um you know, how how often I have heard myself, you know, when somebody's talking about something that I've heard before, self-consciously, in my self-conscious mind, I thought, oh, I know that. But actually, when you when you say I know, um, oh, excuse me, when you, when you say I know, it actually means you don't know. 
because when you say I know, you're pushing away the possibility of understanding something at a different level, a deeper level or in a different way. So, you know, when you hear something for the third, fourth, fifth time, 20th time, however many times, you might hear it in a different way that, sorry, I'm scratching. You might hear it in a different way that makes all the difference and gives you a deeper understanding. So for those who know and those who <laughs> don't know, um, the words for Ho'oponopono, the first one is, I love you. The second one is forgive, uh, oh God, it doesn't matter what order they go in actually. It's I love you, I'm sorry, forgive me and thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, forgive me and thank you. Now, the 100% responsibility thing is based upon the fact that Dr. L Dr. Len talks about going back to zero and zero is a state where you connect with the divine where you are in touch with your divinity, where you are back to source. So the point of cleaning yourself with these words is to get you back to zero. And when you get you, yourself back to zero, then you have cleansed all those subconscious programs and memories and beliefs that keep you in the loop of creating a reality you don't want if that makes sense. So it's uh, not about trying to fix a problem out there with these words. It's about cleaning yourself up with these words, cleaning your own um, subconscious programs that are directing your life and directing what you are creating in your life. So I love you, of course. I love you is when you say I love you to yourself, it takes you right back to, to God within yourself. It takes you to your divinity. You came from love and love is where you will go back to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, basically, for those things within me that are causing this manifestation I suppose in the in the outer world forgive me that's fairly obvious and thank you which is being grateful for it so it actually it actually it doesn't matter which words you use what order you use them in whether you use them all whether you only use two or three of the phrases or one you can just say I love you I love you I love you I love you I'm sorry I love you and, and I'm grateful. I love you and thank you or whatever. God, I'm getting all muddled up. But you know what I mean? I love you. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Forgive me. Sorry. I love you. Forgive. It doesn't matter. You can use them in whatever order, whichever ones you want. There's no formula. Just do what feels right for you. However, I'm planning on making a quick little... Um, six minute video of me doing it for six minutes <laughs> strangely enough for me for me doing it for six minutes so you can if you want just plug your headphones in and listen to that three times a day and um for nine days and and you're done do you know what i mean and you can say it internally in your head you can say it out loud makes no difference you can say it as you're going to bed, you can say it when you're waking up, you can say it when you're driving along in the car, whatever, whatever, whatever you like, but at least three times a day for six minutes for nine days. I thought the magic of the 369 in there might weave a little bit of magic for us. Um, what else did I want to say? I wanted to do something that is going to help to erase some of the fear that's going around because there is a lot of fear and I felt myself descending into anxiety. I think that's what brought the IBS on and um, yeah, well, you know, I felt, I felt that, that in that moment I really needed to do something to um, change it and so I want to get in there and clean up 
my subconscious programs to help the world because we are all 100% responsible for what's going on, all of us. No exceptions. Whenever there's a problem, you're there. You're never anywhere else. You're always where it is. So thinking of that, and thinking of um, uh, that we are God's veiled in flesh, it's returning to that divinity which is going to bring us through this time of, of tribulation and fear and third world war, which is, which is what's actually going on. I think those of us who are more awake maybe than others realise that, but hopefully more people will wake up to that after a while. But the fear is poison. The fear is the, pan is the, is the pandemic. And I think that we need to... Um, it, We've got to raise our frequency. We're beings of light. We're beings of vibration and frequency. And if we can raise our own vibration and frequency as much as we can, that's going to serve all of humanity and the planet as a whole. So it's not about, as I said, and it's not about trying to direct the uh, the phrases that you use for on the problem out there. It's directing it within yourself fixing yourself up and if we all did that the world would be a much better place in that state of divinity that state of what dr len calls zero there's no such thing as race or color or division we're all one family at that level we are all one family and it doesn't matter what people believe or what they don't believe if we all just keep our vibration as high as we can this is the um the way we get through this and it takes us to the great awakening well we're already going through the great awakening but i mean hopefully it will take us to the zenith of it you know um we would never have had this awakening globally had there not been discomfort had there not been shit going down that uh, was rattling our rattling our lives up shaking our lives up we needed a shake up because humans have been asleep complacent not thinking the higher echelons like the Bill Gateses and the uh, George Soroses and people like that I believe call us useless eaters or some, something along that line useless eaters I mean geez and I you know I can't say that they're wrong on every level because there are people around that you look at and think mm. but anyway we had to be rattled up in order to get ourselves uh, into that um, frame of mind where we're looking for something else we're looking for what's you know what what we can do what's the remedy i guess you know more than ever we need to find um the light basically so i'm trying to think if i've left anything out that i wanted to say oh yeah there was one more thing i wanted to say which is um when I'm talking about fear, lots of people are feared of the thing and the nano things in the air, in your food, in your water, in this, in that, you know, there's a lot of fear around that. But just bear in mind, when you connect with your spirit, your spirit can deal quite easily with anything that happens to you in the physical, in your physical body. It's a myth that we've been fed and conditioned to believe that we are helpless against disease. Disease is not something that attacks us from the outside. Disease comes from within us, from our lack of connection, 
from our loss of connection to that higher to those higher higher level states okay so when you reconnect with your divinity when you reconnect with the, your god within that's when you can heal yourself of anything and you can deal with any bots in your body or nanos in your tea or whatever else it is you can deal with it your body is powerful enough to deal with all of it but we just um, have been conditioned to think that we're powerless so let's take our power back and let's do this Ho'oponopono for ourselves, for the planet, for our Earth family, for Gaia, for the children, for our ancestors, for everything that's gone on over the last uh, hundred years or more of lies and deceit and all of that. Let's 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 make us make a make an effort to cleanse ourselves to cleanse everything else so i hope some of you would like to join me and uh, please let me know if you want to join me um, i can give you my email address underneath somewhere if you like and i've got a telegram link and an instagram link and on facebook i'm banned at the moment because i'm in the naughty corner because i say things that aren't politically correct and uh, yeah no freedom of speech at the moment whatsoever anyway that putting that aside one can talk in code and um, yeah it's 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 all going to be okay chaps the light is going to win so on that note I'm going to go I love you Please forgive me. Thank you. I'm sorry. And they're all in back to front order there. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Bye.